Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. In previous videos, we have seen the I.O. requirement, right? So today we will check the PCH requirement. What are the important voltages required to the PCH before pressing the power button? Okay. For this, uh, I will uh, come from the beginning. What are the source and how the voltage will generate and what are the voltages required at the S5 state to the PCH before pressing power button? Because once I uh, informed you, uh, once I tell you the voltages from the beginning, then only you come to know the main voltages to the PCH. Okay, let us start one by one. See, the main thing is source. What are those source? One is battery source. See, these pin numbers, 14.5 volts battery voltage will come. Correct. So next, here type C, it's a 20 volts or 5 volts. In adapter, it's a 19.5. 5 volts. These all are the main source voltage will enter to the motherboard. Once it enters, where it will go? It will go to charging IC. But before that, the very first voltage will generate by the cell. Okay, the cell through this IOB1 connector, pin number 11 the rtc vcc voltage through the cell battery cell the 3 volts so battery cell will be there no the first voltage will enter to the motherboard and it will enter to the pch in the name of plus rtc underscore cell underscore pch and in the name of srtc rst and rtc rst here jc mos 1 connector you will get that particular voltages okay that is the reset voltages first our voltage in the motherboard the first reset voltage I mean two actually it's a first reset voltage this particular point you will get it's a 3.3 volts in some of the motherboard 1.4 also okay four or five see here this is the main point for reset in case if it is a zero or it is connected to the ground internally then you think your motherboard never gets on your motherboard will be the dead condition okay that is very very important point okay this is the first voltage second voltage what are the source voltage will enter to the motherboard those will come to three uh, these three diodes see diode is unidirectional right so here the input it has dc underscore in underscore ss voltage that's from the dc jack and second voltage is from the type c and that voltage is from tc jack and battery section it's a 19 volts vb hmm? see these three inputs will enter through these three diodes but output will be the same which one is the higher one that voltage will enter to this 1.0 ohms resistor and through this resistor pin number 17 of this charging ic what is that intercell 9538 is the charging ic hmm? h so through this pin number 17 this main voltage will enter to the charging ic okay this charging ic is a pwm ic it does its work right so after that pin number 3 will be the output from this ic which one is a sys this is voltage is 19 vb 19 vb it may be 13.5 volts or it may be 19 or it may be 17.5 or it may be in what is that 14 point something it's a battery voltage okay so that voltage will enter as a output i mean it will come from the ic as a output this particular um, uh, voltage will enter to the other section of the motherboard where it will go let us check see second pwm section ic is 3 volts always okay see 19 volts will enter to this particular uh, pu301 ic this is 3 volts pwm section 2 3 4 5 are the pin numbers so as an input 19 volts will enter to this ic once this 19 volts will enter to this ic it may be uh, battery voltage or it may be 13.5 so immediately we will get 3 volts ldo voltage okay so after that uh, according to the enable 1 and enable 2 the pin number 1 and 12, uh, 11 and 12 so according to that internally this particular ic will generate the voltage of 3 volts always through this coil here we will get the output so now you got it right so first p 
PWM section is the charging AC. Second one is three volts always. Now we got right. So after that, not only three volts always we will get. Once this IC is working perfectly, then we will get one more voltage. That is pin number. What is that? Here somewhere it is there. The pin number. Using that, see here is the POK. POK is the output. 6, 19, 20 is the 3 volts always. But here is the POK. Hmm? See, uh, it's 11, right? It's a 10, 9. Pin number 9 may be the POK. This is the power good voltage. Next, third PWM section is here. Hmm? 19 VB will enter through the pin number 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5 volts always ic 5 volts pwm ic once it enters as usual as like uh, 3 volts it uh, here is the 5 volts radio will will generate hmm? according to the enable 1 and enable 2 the internal high low mosfet uh, will activate and we will get the output from these pins to this coil through this coil we will get 5 volts always at the same time in case if it is working fine then we will get POK signal this is the power good signal okay so next which PWM section see here here one more PWM section is there it's a 1.0 volts prime how it will generate see 19 volts will enter through this particular connections so once it enters inside actually inside also pins are there once it receives 19 volts then immediately as per the enable of this POK it will generate plus 1.0 volts it's a prime voltage okay through this coil we will get hmm? POH01 is the one more PWM section voltage so next this 3 volts always we already got right so that 3 volt always will go as an input to this particular PU1801 PWM IC okay once this voltage enters then we will get the voltage of what is that 1.8 volts prime through this coil okay uh, not only this voltage we will get one more voltage in case this particular IC is working properly then we will get pin number 4 as a pin number 4 is prime power good okay one more voltage we will get why i am telling these kind of voltages see there is a reason the pch see the first voltage rtc cell pch is the first voltage goes to pch and next voltage through that uh, 3 volts 3.3 uh, 3 volts always we will get 3.3 .3 volts always dsw that also goes to pch and next 3 volts always pch it's these are pch related uh, signals it will activate this particular voltage that also will enter, enter to the pch and 1.0 volts prime also will enter at that same time the cpu will receive this 1.8 volts prime and here pch also will receive 1.8 volts prime see for this reason i told from the beginning okay one two three four five six there are six voltages at present before pressing the power button this is very very important before pressing the power button this voltage will be available in pch side okay here that's it so in next video we'll check how this pch will work after the pressing power button and what are the characteristics uh, for the io those things we will discuss deeply okay if anybody wants to join our course so please contact through telegram and whatsapp thank you thank you very much